Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday to you all. Today is our favorite class, right? Getting to the core. Ah, abs, back, and glutes. Uh, I want to welcome those of you who this is your first time with me. My name is Lisa Breezy. I am an exercise physiologist, wellness heart coach, and founder of State of the Heart Fitness. And of course, I also want to welcome my regulars here who have become regulars and are getting stronger every day. So I'm happy to have you here. As I always say with every class, your body is the best coach. So always listen to your body at all times. Do what feels right to you. If something doesn't feel right, you just take a breather and uh, you join in again when you can. But the most important thing is to keep yourself safe. Um, at the end, I will, once I stop the recording and finish the class, I'll keep it open for discussion if anybody has any concerns or anything like that. But uh, for the most part, it's all about having fun. And um, just a quick reminder, tomorrow we have full body stretch. That's a 45 minute class by request uh, instead of 30 minutes. So 45 minute stretch tomorrow, really, really good open up the whole body. Thursday is strength and balance. That's a 30 minute class. And then Friday is progressive relaxation, which is also a 30 minute class. And then I'm offering a special class Friday afternoon or evening, depending on where you are, uh, 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. And then you figure out in between the time zones, uh, we are doing Friday freelance dance with Lisa. Oh my gosh, we're just gonna put on the music. I'm not a dance instructor. It's all about having fun and just letting some steam go and you know, shaking, shaking the booty a little bit. If you're interested in that, you can ask me more. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna start, um, you can be on your mat on the floor or in a chair or on the bed, whatever. Preferably it's better to have a higher, harder surface. So on the floor is best. Today, we're gonna actually get started seated instead of lying on our back. So let's do it, let's do this. We are ready to get started. Okay, put my music on and let's make sure that you can see me okay, okay. All right, let's do this. So we're gonna start with our feet crossed, our legs crossed. And I want you to place your hands on your belly because we're going to connect the mind with the body, with our core. So most of the time we're in our head, we need to bring our awareness into our body. So we're going to do that by sitting tall and closing your eyes. So your heart is forward, your shoulders are relaxed. And we're just going to start by focusing on our breathing. Long, slow, deep breaths in through the nose, down deep into the lungs, deep into the heart, and even deeper into the abdomen. Feeling the abdomen expand as you breathe in, and as you exhale, think of drawing your belly button towards your spine and feeling your abdominals contract. Inhaling, expand the belly. Exhale, draw the belly button towards your spine. Feel your abdominals contract. Inhale, expand the belly. Exhale, draw the belly button in. Squeeze those abdominals. Inhale, expand the belly. Exhale, draw the belly button in, squeeze those abdominals. Let's do two more deep breaths. Inhale, expand into the belly. Exhale, draw the muscles in. One more, inhale, expand. Exhale, draw the abdomen in, feel the abdominals contract and just hold it there, hold it there, feel the contraction in the abdominals as you continue to breathe slowly and deeply. This time just hold the contraction. Feel those abdominals, get connected. 
Good, and then release. Excellent job. So we're gonna start with some movement of the spine. So some gentle forward and back. Back, leading with your heart in both directions. So getting some movement, flexibility in the spine as you pull the navel in, feel the contraction of the abs. So inhale, expand, stretch. Exhale, draw it in, pull it in. Inhale, expand, stretch. Exhale, draw it in. Feel those abdominals contract. Good. So your pace with your breath. Eyes closed so that you can tune in. But we really want to be connected to our core, to our abdominals. When we talk about our core, we're talking about our foundation. Strong foundation for the rest of our body to land on, basically. Our core is where everything originates. And we want to make that strong, just like we want to make a, if we're building a home, we're building a structure, we want to make that strong foundation so the rest of the building is strong. So just feeling the movement in the spine, but feeling the contraction of the abdominals as you pull it back. Now let's add some movement by doing some coffee grinders, making those circles around. Again, bringing your awareness into the core, really tuning in so your shoulders stay fairly relaxed and your head and shoulders don't really move so much as it's more about the belly. Good. So this is good for the spine, movement through the spine, but it's also, we're getting connected with all of those core muscles. The muscles are the rectus abdominis that go right down the middle. They're the typical six pack when you see if somebody's got very lean, that's the rectus abdominis. And then we have our obliques, our internal and external obliques, which run diagonally alongside of the body. Let's reverse the direction if we haven't already. So the obliques run diagonally and they're responsible for torso rotation where the obliques are more the forward flexion. So just getting connected. Couple more in this direction. And relax, good. Let's take those arms out, touch your, uh, hands to your shoulders, and we're just going to rotate around our spine. Good. Again, working those obliques as we rotate side to side. Keep the spine tall. Eyes closed if you can to tune in as you feel the muscles. And you'll also probably feel the muscles running down the spine the paraspinal muscles, otherwise known as the erector spining. So really connect, feel what muscles are working here. Breathe deep. Couple more in each direction. Good, and relax. Woo. All right, everybody's warmed up and connected, right? So I'm gonna show you the side view here. This is where we're gonna go from here. We're gonna take those feet out, knees bent. We're gonna take those arms out. Imagine you have an imaginary ball and we're going to just hold that ball and we're gonna bring it back. If you were in class yesterday, we did this a little bit yesterday. So you wanna feel those abdominals take hold. Shoulders down, slide your shoulder blades together. Your heart is forward. Good. Now bring those heels in a little bit and see if you can just lift them slightly up off the floor. Okay. Now we want to avoid the back getting uh, relaxed. We want to keep those muscles engaged between the shoulder blades. So bring that heart forward. Hold and breathe. Yes. And then let's lift those arms up. I'm going to adjust the camera just a little bit. Lift those arms up and hold. Again, do what you can. Breathe. Keep those abs engaged. Woo! Smiles on those faces, of course. Good. So we're going to inhale, stretch it up. Exhale, imagine you're touching that ball to those knees. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, stretch. 
Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, bring it down. Four more. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, bring it down. How are we doing out there? Inhale, stretch. Exhale, bring it down. One more. Inhale up. Hold it there. Hold it. Hold it. Recline back a little bit more if you can. Find that balance. Keep that core engaged. Keep the smiles on those faces. No place we'd rather be. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Fold forward for a moment. Woo! Nice work, team. How we doing? Thumbs up. Do the best you can, whatever you can do. We're going to add a little variation of that. Okay? So we're going to come back to that position. Reach those arms out once again. Again, you can keep the heels on the floor or you can lift them up. Okay? From here, see if you can extend that right leg out. Good. And if you need to keep that left heel on the floor, that's fine. Do what you can. Keep that back straight and strong. So slide those shoulder blades together. Keep that heart forward. Hold it and breathe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it in. Not done. We got to do the other side. Do what you can. Take that left leg. Extend it out there. Hold. Breathe. Feeling those abs, team. 10, 9, 8. Remember, if you need to drop the heel to the floor, that's fine. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Fold forward. Awesome job. Woo! Take a little breather. Continuing with some variations of that. All right, we're going to come back. This time, let's take those hands. Palms on the floor, facing fingertips facing your body. We're going to lift up. Okay, so we're not leaning too much on the hands. They're just there for balance. What we're going to do is we're going to inhale out, exhale, bring it in. Inhale out, exhale, bring it in. Keep those abs strong. Yes. Inhale out, exhale in. Inhale out. Exhale in. Inhale out. Exhale in. Do what you can. Inhale out. Exhale in. Inhale out. Exhale in. Inhale out. Exhale in. Let's do four more. Inhale out. Exhale in. Inhale three. Exhale in. Inhale two. Exhale in. And one. Hold it. Hold it. Woo! Four, three, two, and one. Oh, come full forward. Ah. Now, just a note on the breathing, because I know a lot of people think, oh my gosh, I'm breathing the opposite, and am I doing it wrong, and all of that. Anybody out there? <laughs> so here's the thinking behind the breathing. The breathing is we inhale when we extend the muscles, we exhale when we're contracting them. And the reason is, is that when those muscles contract, they squeeze the blood vessels. And so if we have blood pressure concerns, it can cause the blood pressure to rise a little bit. It can cause a little pressure in the eyes. So if you have low blood pressure, not really an issue. If it was a high blood pressure issue, this the breathing helps exhaling as we are contracting and tightening those muscles. So that's what that's all about. But you're fine. If you're feeling fine, don't worry about it so much, okay? You're not doing anything wrong. All right, so this next one that we're going to do, we're just going to walk ourselves down slowly onto our backs. So you come to the far end of your mat, heels on the floor, knees are bent. I want you to imagine you're holding onto a rope, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to roll ourselves down to the floor for a count of 10. We're going to do it very slowly, and we're really going to make those abdominals work. Okay, so we got that rope. Okay, we're going to slowly imagine 
Letting yourself down for 10, 9, 8, 7. Oh, this is when it starts to get fun. 6. You thought you were having fun now? Just wait. 5. Oh! 4. Hold. 3. Woohoo! 2. Hold. And one, come on down, awesome job. Palms down, let's lift those legs. 90 degree bend in the knees and the hips. Take those arms out perpendicular onto the floor. We're gonna do some torso rotations, rotating those legs, working those obliques. All right, arms out. We're gonna inhale to the right, to about 45 degrees angle. From the floor, exhale, bring it back to center. Inhale to the left side, 45 degrees, back to center. Inhale to the right, exhale to center. Inhale to the left, exhale to the center. Keep the shoulder blades flat. Inhale to the right, exhale to center. Inhale to the left, exhale to center. Inhale to the right. Exhale to center. Inhale to the left. Exhale to center. Inhale to the right. Exhale center. Inhale to the left. Exhale center. Hold it here. You can stay with the knees bent or if you want to add a little bit more, extend those legs straight up. Feel the abdominals engage. Same thing. Over to the right. 45 degrees. Exhale powerfully back to center. Inhale to the left. Exhale powerfully to the center. Inhale to the right. Exhale powerfully to the center. Inhale to the left. Exhale powerfully to the center. Remember, do what feels right to you. Take a breather if you need to. Exhale center. Inhale left. Exhale, center, two more each side. Good, smiles on those faces, team. Exhale, center, no place we'd rather be than strengthening our core on a Tuesday morning, April 21st, 2020. One more each side. Exhale, center, last one left side. Exhale, center, hug the knees in. Oh, nice work. Woo! That was fun, Lisa. Can we do more of that? Oh, there's more in the more in the toolbox, trust me. All right, let's go ahead and place our feet on the floor, knees are bent. We're gonna work our glutes and our lower back a little bit. Okay, so the key muscles of our core foundation is obviously our abdominals, but it's also our glutes. So the two main muscle groups we wanna strengthen to keep our, I'm gonna show you just what it, we're looking for. So. About 80% of Americans have lower back pain at some point in time in their life. Usually lower back pain is a cause because of poor posture and pressure on the vertebral discs in the lower spine. So here's what happens. When we're weak in our abdominals, weak in our glutes, it causes a forward rotation of our pelvis. So you can see how that would squeeze, that would compress the vertebral discs. So if we gain weight here, it's even more compressed, okay? So what we need to do is we strengthen those abdominals, those abdominals pull it in, those glutes pull it in, and so strong abdominals and glutes are one of the key things to keeping our lower back in its proper alignment. So let's do our glutes. So feet on the floor, knees in alignment, let's bridge that back. Squeeze those glutes tight. Keep those knees in alignment with those hips. Good, now palms down on the floor, let's take that right leg, if you can. If you need to just hold the bridge, that's fine. Otherwise, if you could take that right leg up, flex the foot, and we're gonna lower and press that heel toward the ceiling. We're working that left side, just in case you didn't notice, okay? Good, pushing that heel toward the ceiling. Working that glute on that left side. 
When we talk about the glutes, it's a few muscles we're actually talking about. The gluteus maximus, the big muscle on the outside. Then we got some internal glute muscles, the gluteus minimus and medius, and also deep is the piriformis. Good, so we're working those. Woohoo! Four more. Three, two, one. Hold it, hold it. Four, three, two, and one. Bring that leg down. Keep those hips up if you can. If you need to come down, take a breather, that's fine. Squeeze those glutes, palms down, take that left leg. Oh, flex that foot and little presses. Lift and lower. We're not letting the lower back come all the way down, maybe about halfway. Pushing that heel up and down, working that right side. Might be your left, depends on which way you're facing. Good. As long as it's the other side. Keep it going. Work those glutes. We're working a little bit of the hamstrings, the back of those thighs as well. You might feel it there. Good. Four more. Three, two, one. Hold it. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Let's come all the way down. Hug the knees into the chest. Woo! Rock side to side. You guys are awesome. Oh, yes. All right. We're going to do a dead bug. So what that means, think of a dead bug when they're dead, they're on their backs with their legs in the air. So arms up, palms facing each other. Legs, 90 degree bend in the knees and the hips. We're gonna press our back into the mat, into the floor. So that natural curvature of our spine and the mid back, you wanna flatten it. So you'll feel those abdominals engage. All right, here we go. Right arm reaches over our head without touching the floor. Keep the back flat, abs strong. Right, uh, left leg straight up. And then slowly lower it toward the floor. Finding that spot where it's difficult to keep that back flat, where you start to shake, hold it right there and breathe. Inhale, exhale through the nose as much as you can. Deep, powerful breaths. Your breath is your power. Hold it. Smiles on those faces. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one, bring it back up. Woo! Readjust, press that back into the floor. Abs are strong. Take that left arm over without touching the floor. Right leg straight up. Slowly lower it down to that point where you feel the challenge to keep that back flat. Abs are strong. You might feel a little shake and bake going on there. Good. Hang in there. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in. Hug the knees, rock side to side. Woo! Good. All right, team. We're going to come up onto our hands and our knees. We're going to work those glutes a little bit more. So what I want you to do is you're going to take that, whichever leg, doesn't matter, right leg, left leg, straight out, flex that foot, work those glutes, we're going to press, 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 press. Keep the abs engaged, press, 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 four, three, two, one, hold it here. And then see if you can take that right hand or the opposite hand, pull the abs in, hold it there, lift that leg, leg is straight, lift that arm up, hold and breathe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Excellent job. We must do the same thing to the other side. So extend that other leg. Leg is straight, push through that heel. Okay, little presses, lift, lift. Squeeze in those glutes. Yes, good. Keep those abdominals engaged. 
Breathing deep. Oh, yes. Four, three, two, one. Hold it. Lift high. And if you can, opposite arm, thumb up. Hold, hold, hold. Abs strong. All of the leaves are brown. Sky is Four, three, two, one. Come on down. On a winter's day, let's sit down. I'd be safe and warm if I was in LA. Team. We're going to come down and do our favorites, our planks. So come down on your abdomen, elbows underneath your shoulders. Now you can do these on your knees or on your toes. So on your knees, we just lift until you feel your core or on your toes. Lift up and hold it. Abs are strong. If you do not feel this in your abs, your butt might be too much in the air, so bring it down. If you feel it in your back, you need to lift those hips up a little bit more. Find that sweet spot where those abs are engaged. Now if you're on your toes, see if you can lift your right leg and hold and breathe. Long, slow, deep breaths. Powerful. Oh yeah, got down on my knees. And I began to pray. Four, three, two, one. Switch, other side. Woo! The creature likes the cold. He wants to stay. Four, three, two, one. Rest. Come on down, team. All right, from here. Hang in there. We're almost there. Arms out. Thumbs up. Supermans. Here's what we're going to do. We're gonna lift up, arms and legs, and down. And then lift and lower, working. The erector spiny muscles, the paraspinal muscles that run down the spine. And work into the glutes, lift up and down. Lift up and down. Lift up and down. Up and down. Lift up. All the leaves are brown. Oh, but it's not here. Woo, keep it going. Four more. Three. Two. One. Hold it. Hold it. Breathe. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Make a little pillow with your forearms and rest. Woo! And then just take those heels and rock them side to side. Feel that uh, re lower back relax. Nice work, team. Guess what? You did it. You did it. We get to finish with some stretches here. Let's go ahead and roll over onto your back. Woo! Nice work. Oh, first let's take those arms and legs and reach. Reach through the fingertips, reach through the toes, eyes closed. Long, slow, deep breaths. Hmm. So we want to balance it out with some stretching, lengthening those muscles, lengthening those abs. Now let's hug the knees in. Stretch that lower back. Rock side to side a little bit. And then go ahead and extend that left leg onto the floor. Keep the right leg in and bring it across your body with the left hand. Right arm extends. So you turn your head over the right shoulder as the right leg goes to the left side. Feel that torso twist. Feel it all the way down the spine into that right glute. Eyes closed, relax into it. We finish it up today, good job. 
Deep breath in. Exhale, bring that leg back up. Extend that leg onto the floor. Hug the left leg in. And then with your right hand, you're going to bring that leg across your body to the right side. Turn your head over that left shoulder. Keep the shoulder blades flat. Eyes closed. Breathe. Let that body open up. Let those muscles, muscles lengthen. Deep breath in. Exhale, bring it back up and hug both knees in once again. Knees to the chest and let's rock and roll up and down the spine. Oh, giving yourself a little back massage. It's fun, isn't it? Good. Two more. And then we'll finish sitting upright. All right, excellent. Come back up. Woo! We made it back to earth. So let's just sit here for a moment. Let's just rub those hands together, eyes closed. Let's finish it off, just centering and anchoring this in for the rest of our day. So press those thumbs into your sternum. Back is tall, shoulders relaxed. Heart is forward, eyes closed. Bow the chin down. Just tune in, feel the energy moving through your body. Hmm. Breathe deep into the heart space, that calm, quiet place deep inside. It's our place of stillness, groundedness, connection to our soul, to the earth. This is our truest state of being, no matter what's happening in the world around us. You can always anchor into this place at any point in time through your breath and being present. So let's just take a moment to breathe in gratitude for our amazing body, for what it just did for us right now, what it does for us every single day that we take for granted. Let's bless it, let's honor it. It's our vehicle to get through this world on this planet. And then breathe in some gratitude for each other, for our class today, for this beautiful day, for the sun, for the earth. Let's take this energy into the world. Let's make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. When we heal our heart, we heal the world. Namaste. Good job, everybody. Awesome job. Woo! That's it. That's a wrap. So, for those of you, how are we feeling? Strong core? Yeah? Okay, so for those of you first timers, thank you for coming. Please come back. This recording will be up on my YouTube channel, usually somewhere this afternoon. So you can do it again if you wanted to. There's several of them on there. If you felt like this was of benefit and value and you feel called to give a donation, I'm hum humbly accept. I'm on Venmo and PayPal. If not, it doesn't matter. Just keep coming back. Tell your friends. And hopefully I'll see you tomorrow for full body stretch, 45 minutes and just really deep lengthening. So I hope you can come and um, we'll see.